Good morning to you, my friends. I'm Core, and this is Trailmakers. Last time, we built what I would consider, not to toot my own horn or anything, a fantastic orbital laser. Yes, there were some flaws. It was really just, you know, spur of the moment, build an orbital laser, but I think it turned out pretty good. All, all things considered, I had fun with it, and that's what really matters, and I hope you guys did too. Today, we are going to be revisiting the idea that Digby gave me a few weeks ago, which was the super speed submarine. Now, if you remember, we tried this, and we made a few discoveries. We discovered that it's really tricky <laughs> to make a submarine go super fast, because there's only one method of propulsion, at least that we d discovered and explored in that episode, and that's just the underwater propellers. Those really can't get you going that fast, uh, it turns out. Even even though I slapped on almost as many as I could, I almost filled up the complexity limit. Today I've got a different idea of uh, mode of uh, speed in the water. And I was thinking, what do boats do in real life, you know? Well, submarines, I suppose. Well, submarines don't really do this in real life. But I was thinking of a paddle. Now, what if we got a paddle... It just went astronomically fast, back and forth. Would that help us go super fast underwater? And also, another little challenge from another viewer, Luminous Gaming. Uh, he asked to uh, find a, a to, to see a uh, submarine in the shape of a shark. So if we can, <laughs> we're going to try and do a little art today. We're going to put those two together. Make a 600 kilometer per hour shark. This is going to be a little bit tricky. But let's get into it, because it could be really fun, too. I'm not a very artistic person, but it sounds fun, so we'll give it a go. So I think we'll start off with... Well, we do need it to steer. And I think we're going to just use propulsion stuff to do that. We need it to go forward and we need it to steer. And this will work fine for that. This will work fine. Okay, so that's forward propulsion. So I came up with this little double hinge setup right here. So we've got left and right and up and down all in one. So we don't have to have four propellers, we just need two. So let's see if these are configured. Left and right. And I want these guys to be W and S. That might be right. Should be. We've got... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yes! Okay, I mean, if it was floating, it'd be working all right. Look at this. Ooh, that's actually kind of elegant movement. Whee! Except that my propellers are put to WNS as well. Which makes it so that I go forward while I'm going up and down. That's actually kind of cool. I could make a snake with that. That's really snakeish motion. That could be fun. Hey, someone, someone make a challenge for me to make a snake. Okay? Because I won't do it unless there's a challenge. Well, that's not true. But it'd be cool, okay? Something to think about. Okay, now that we've got control all taken care of, let's make it float. Well, let's try it. I mean, yeah, we're, we're, we're driving. We're driving. That's what we want. We're driving. Look at this. This is actually really cool. That's actually really cool. Hmm. I like that method of double hinges. That's pretty pretty smooth. It's like a sea dragon. Beautiful and majestic. And dangerous. And not very balanced. Okay, since we have that all taken care of, what about this paddle idea I had? Well, let's see. What kind of things do we have? We could have... Hmm. I wonder. I want it to go... Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I want it to go back and forth really, really fast. But I don't think a hinge can do that. Let's see. What kind of configuration options do we have for you? Can I just... I can toggle. Can it just... Hmm. But it only goes one direction, right? What if we did this? And we put the speed up all the... Is that as fast as you can go? Wait a minute. Hold on. That's not fast enough. 
Oh, I'm disappointed in you now, Steering Hinge. No, you can go away. You are not what we are looking for. Rotating servo. Hmm, wait a minute. I just came up with a different idea for a propeller. Look at this. What if we did something like this? It just had it spin super fast. Would that work? Like a giant propeller? Let's see. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I'm using the wrong block, aren't I? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys, you guys, hold on. Speed 10. Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's be under the water for this. Down. And then... Huh. The whole sub is spinning. And that's a problem. We don't want the whole sub to spin. But I also want it to go faster than that. Okay, let's... Let's... Okay, we're gonna save that, actually, just in case, but for now, we're gonna forget it. We're gonna forget it ever existed. So the problem we are experiencing right now is this thing is just dumb, and it doesn't spin fast enough. I think that... I, I, I for one, think that's silly. Why can't I make it go 10,000 times faster? Like, I want it to go 400, but it can only go 10. Let's look here, because I just realized we've got these things here called paddles. Used to move a lot of water. Now, that seems like what I'm looking for. But also, I've got this thing here, a helicopter blade. That also seems like it might be what I'm looking for. Now, I'm not building a helicopter here, guys. Don't get confused, okay? Stay on task. We're building a submarine. We're going 10 kilometers, guys. Hmm. This is, this is tricky. I thought this would be easier than using the underwater jets, but with these things, they can only go wimpy speeds. Ugh. I thought for sure there was a better way to turn things faster. Well, I guess that one's going out. Not a bad idea, though. I will honestly say it was, it could have been good. It just... It just doesn't work. So let's try paddles. So let's see, how big is that? That's not a very big paddle. Ugh, they call them large. All right. And a little paddle, that thing is tiny. Okay, well. What have we got? What if we put it on the back and I just set it to a key that I have to mash as fast as I can? Okay, you know what? Let's let's give it a go. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's doing nothing. It's doing absolutely nothing. Ah, uh, look at it. Yeah, let me try it hitting. Uh, nope. It's not even if I hit it too fast, it doesn't have time to reset, so it doesn't do anything. Oh, goodness. Hmm. <laughs> it looks so stupid. One last ditch effort. This thing doesn't look very much like a shark. I apologize for that. The shark idea is kind of, uh... Eh. It's not really coming to fruition. So let's see about this. <laughs> what if we did something like that? And then... Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> no! That's not right! Here we go. <laughs> Look at how slowly they're turning! In comparison to how they were turning when there was nothing on them. These things are so wimpy! Is there a strength setting on them that isn't cranked all the way up? No, there isn't even a strength setting. Wow! That's garbage! Absolute garbage! Oh my goodness! 
You know what? I'll bet this thing would perform better on land. With all this resistance, it's really clogging things up. Let's see. Alright, the debut. It actually does. It 100%- Whoa! It performed better on land. It went about 23 kilometers per hour right there when it crashed. And I can kind of steer it. Okay, maybe that was just it going down the hill. We are going faster on land than we did in the ocean with this magnificent device. Alright. It's it's amphibious, okay? See? Oh, we got to 30! And when it gets in the water, it goes to 10. We can go faster with our stupid little jets at the front. Well, maybe not faster. Alright, dive! This is a submarine after all. <laughs> and these things don't even turn underwater. Look at them go. Oh, this is so sad. <laughs> oh. 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 I thought I was going to be really smart. When I came up with this stupid paddle idea. But instead I just looked stupid. Oh no. Oh no. I guess these servos are just too weak. They really can't cut it. Well that's a shame. I was really hoping we could get there. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna have to settle for this monstrosity. Oh, that was still fun, though. That was still fun. Definitely did not get the 600 kilometer mark. It looks like submarines just are bound to go slow. Oh, well. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked watching this challenge build. If you did, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section with any ideas you may have for something that you want me to build. Look, a treasure hunt. Well... No, I'm not going there. If you guys want to see me build something, come up with some ideas, let me know in the comments, and I will get to them. I absolutely love doing these challenge builds. Some of my favorite videos to make. And this one was fun, even though we didn't get there. We had some we had some laughs, and uh, we made some uh, funny-looking devices. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Trailmakers. If you did, leave a like, and if you haven't already and you would like to, you can subscribe to see more trail makers and all the other things I post right here on this channel. And as always guys, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.